Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in the beautiful Kingdom of Kerry and I'm in Killarney and I'm in Killarney National Park and I'm at a spot that I've come to a couple of times before but never really came here properly to take some photos and today is not necessarily a day either for that but I was passing the area. The forecast is grey as you can see but the forecast does say that there will be a break just around sunset so I am around an hour and 20 minutes away from sunset so I said you know what take the opportunity come here get a shot and get a photograph of these boats that you see here now they are photographed to death there's a number of people that have taken some fantastic shots of them at dawn I'm here for sunset so it's not necessarily the right time for it but one person actually who has got some beautiful photographs from here is a guy who's from Killarney his name is Mark O'Brien and he manages to take some fantastic shots from this location and um, today is going to be uh, a challenge for a number of reasons number one being the light but number two you can probably see them around me at the moment, which is the midges, and they are out in force. So it does make it very, very uncomfortable. I unfortunately didn't bring my midge net, but I do have my midge repellent spray. So I'll be putting that on me in a moment uh, to try and get them off me because it can be quite, like I say, annoying or distracting or anything like that. But yeah, this is our location for today. Um, we'll get a couple of shots anyway here um, before the light hits, um, and then I'll talk you through when I set up my composition in here for a start, and then we can see how we go from there. So I've set up now for my first shot and already I'm going to find it difficult because the area between me and the edge of the water is actually water. So I already have my wellies on and it's already come up to right to the brim of the top of the wellies so I don't think I can go any closer. So I've changed out now and I've put on my long lens and I'm varying um, my focal distance anywhere between 70 mil and up to 125 mil and I'm getting a photograph of this one boat that you see here and then there's a secondary boat it's quite dark but I'm going to get shots as well of that um, I've also had to put on my midge repellent spray because these are absolutely swarming around me now they're not on me at the moment which is great so it's not as annoying it's just I can see them visually occasionally one or two will land but you know they're not eating me let's put it that way so I don't taste nice to them thank god for that um, settings at the moment actually for the first photograph here is f8 it's 120th of a second and it's iso 100 and like I say my focal length there on that one is around about 90 mil and what I'm doing is I'm framing the boat bang smack center in the frame and then I've got some of these reeds that are right at the edge of the water here they're forming a kind of a frame natural frame on the bottom of it and then it's leading off into the distance that's there um, no real uh, highlights or color or anything like that just yet still quite flat um, so I'm happy enough I suppose right now in here to be able to get my uh, composition right and nail that composition in the hope that I do get a bit of light that comes like I said earlier at uh, sunset so I'm going to take a couple of more photographs anyway here I might try and do a long exposure the water seems calm enough that the boat may not be moving that much I won't get a very very long exposure but I'll get a small bit of a long exposure anyway just to smooth out the water even further but when you smooth out that water if there's any movement in it you actually lose the reflection as well that you would get ideally I'd like to have completely flat water but I don't have that so I have to take the tools that I have at the moment anyway and try and get a shot from those but I'll show you these anyway now and then I'll check back in in a short while
So here is the framing, as I said, of this shot here. And I'll give you a quick look, actually, of what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to gain in this photograph. So if I uh, clear it out here, and I'll just take off this for a moment. So if I give you a look at this here, you can see that you've got these four clumps of grass that are right at the very, very end here. Here's the boat directly smack in the middle. And I've got my focus peaking turned on, so you can see here now where it glows red. So everything there is within focus. And I'm focusing directly on the boat. So if I slightly adjust that, you'll see that will go green. And then it'll tell me that everything that I need to be able to photograph is in focus. Um, I'm waiting really just to kind of see if the water will calm down slightly. But I do sometimes like the ripple as you can see. And there's a natural V now as well coming into this photograph. So I'll take this shot anyway here and I'll show you then how that will turn out after that. So the light is just about to come. I hope anyway, I can see a small bit of it in the distance. If it comes to this side, I'll catch the shot. But while you, I was waiting for this light, disaster struck. So my DJI Osmo Pocket, which has been a good tool that I've used for a number of years now, decided that it wanted to take a swim and it dropped right below me here. It took me around five minutes to actually fish it back out of the water because the water is so dark and it was dark as well. So that's now goose. So I've recorded my uh, last bit of footage on my Osmo Pocket. And now I'm recording this on my phone. So as I'm just waiting now for the light to come through here, if it does come, I'll grab that shot. I do think it will be nice, but it will be very, very subtle if we get it at all anyway. But yeah, that's just my update so far. <laughs> Disaster, but hopefully I'll get rewarded anyway at the very end and we'll get that light. Well, my weather app was absolutely wrong. I did get a small bit of color, like I said earlier on, but not enough to be able to break through or light anything up that's here in my frame. So I've stuck with my composition originally. I have moved now, right? There's a boat in the distance that's on from some reeds and I've taken a shot of that as well. But as um, far as the light goes, that's it. It's fading fast anyway now. So I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Stronger fall.